All right, here we are, getting ready, another episode of Chillin' and Grillin' with Matt. Um, that's me, I'm with uh, Grotto Custom Cellars, which you see here on my kitchen table, or uh, counter, excuse me, are two pork butts, which I have uh, seasoned with some uh, special stuff over there. I'm not really sure if I'm allowed to uh, tell you exactly what that is or not. Top secret family recipe, so uh, maybe on a future edition we'll, uh, we'll show you what that is. Basically, I just... Uh, Pulled these guys out of the fridge probably about four hours ago, four and a half hours ago. Let them get up to room temperature and um, went ahead and uh, just seasoned them, rubbed them down real good. And um, let's see, got the grill going outside. Big green egg, of course. You saw that last time. And we're about to put these guys on. This is going to be probably, I don't know, 10 to 12 hours. So we're going to cook these guys looking for an internal temperature of 180 degrees. Probably cook them somewhere around 250. As you can see right now, 340, that is AM. How much do I love my friends and family? Been up for about, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Just getting ready to, uh, to do this. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go outside, open up the grill. Holy cow. You see that? That is fire shooting out the top of my grill. All right. Got a good little flame going already. Holy cow, it's really smoky. I've got uh, some chunks of hickory that I soaked in water. Um, put those in water for probably, I don't know, maybe six hours or so just to get it good and uh, good and thorough. Put that first guy right there, just like that. Holy cow. And the second one. right next to it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and shut this down and uh, we'll be back later. All right, here we are, 9 a.m. Sunday morning, just to take a quick peek at what we've got going on here. These pork butts looking good. Just need to make a couple of adjustments to my thermometer here. Um, it's telling me that the Pork butt itself is uh, one of those two temperatures there. Either way, I know it's not right. Can't be that hot yet, so uh, I'll try to stick this in over here and get a better reading off of that. All right, let's let them shut this puppy back down. And there we have it. Probably another, what do we think here? 184 is the grill temp. 145 is the meat. Probably another five hours or so. We'll check back then. All right, here we are. About 13 hours in, actually, is what it ended up taking. We've got our pork butts ready to go. So uh, we'll go ahead and pull this thing open. Take them off. Holy cow, look at all this. Ooh, watch out. All right. Pull the thermometer out. Guys, ready to rock. So what I'm gonna do? Grab that there. Get the other. All right. I'm gonna take these so they don't cool down too fast. Kind of wrap them up in some foil here. That is, that is not cold, not at all. So I usually wrap them up and just put them inside a cooler like this for I don't know an hour or so. Down while it cools off. And after that, we will be pulling these puppies apart. Holy cow, look at this. Ah, it's falling apart already. <laughs> yeah, I'd say this is ready to go. stuff in there. We don't want to leave anything on the grill here. Not at all. Holy cow. Some of you guys that don't know anything about barbecue might be thinking this looks gross, but this is uh, this is good stuff right here, definitely. Not for amateur, seasoned professionals only. Alright, here 
right. That'll be good. Leave the rest of this right off of the grill. So I'm just going to wrap this up, put it in there, and uh, we'll see you in about an hour or so when it's time to shred these guys. Alright, here we go. Just pulled these guys out of the uh, cooler there. Oh wow, look at this. Time to uh, go ahead and shred it, and you can see it is totally just falling apart right on me there as I try to pick this up. Holy cow. This is going to be good stuff. Slow and low is kind of how you want to cook this stuff. Oh, that's the good stuff. We'll just save that right there. I'm just going to go ahead and shred this. You can see it's just totally coming right apart on its own there. Wow. This is the bone. Clean right off of that. Holy cow. Look at that. Done deal. Nice. Just dig into the rest of this. You see all this color here? That's from the smoke. Hickory. Big pieces of hickory is what I used in there this time. I think we're going to be good here. This, uh, it's gonna go nice. I've got some homemade barbecue sauce right there on the stove. Again, not sure that I can share that recipe with you. Got to uh, got to talk to my people and see what they say. Maybe a future episode. All right. See, this is just totally coming apart, no problem at all. Really easy, running out of room. So, anyways, you can see how this goes. I'll do the other one, we'll be right back. You know, I did talk about uh, the wine I was drinking last uh, episode there. Not really so sure this is something you want to drink wine with. So, what I've got is a uh, good American beer here, Miller Lite. Taste protector lid. This is a uh, 24 ounce tall boy, not to be confused with a pounder, which is only a 18 ounce, or a deuce deuce, which is usually in a bottle, 22 ounce. Find a 24 ounce tall boy Miller Lite. Great American beer to go with some uh, backyard barbecue. Chill it and grill it. 